All right, I'm uh, pretty excited about these little uh, uh, these little filters. So I have a set here now. I have a, a band pass, low pass, high pass, and I thought, well, what other what other things do I need? And so I built this thing. Uh, I didn't I didn't uh, film it when I was building it. I was too excited, but I'll show you um, I'll show you a close up and uh, what it is. Um, it is a uh, a 50 ohm load. Uh, it, but it's going to handle uh, uh, enough watts to uh, accomplish what I need. So it's going to be for, um, you know, up to five watts kind of thing, maybe up to 10 watts. Um, I had some 50 ohm uh, load resistors left over from the project that I did previously. I bought some 100 watt resistors and then I ended up finding a 250 watt resistor and I used that instead. So I had a leftover 100 watt which I put in here now. Obviously the heat sinking is not going to be enough to to uh, to use this at 100 watts but certainly should be good for 10 watts. So I made a slug uh, on the uh, uh, lathe that fit inside here. So it's about a quarter inch thick and it goes in the back and then the little um, uh, resistor mounts on that with these two 440 screws. Now, uh, it connects over to this one. And I found there's not a really good RF connection, so I put a piece of wire between the connector and the screw here to have a good RF ground to the, uh, to the resistor. So that's, that's all good. I'll, I'll give you a close-up of this later. Um, that's all really good. And then I was going to remove the other, uh, the other side because I only need one for a dummy load. And I thought, well, you know, I could put it in an RF sniffer, and uh, that's what this little wire is here. I'll show you that again close up. But it's just a wire in this cavity, and it picks up stray RF, and, and they're great to hook up to spectrum analyzers because you're not directly connecting it. If you don't care about the level of the signal, just the frequency content of the, of the signal, then these RF, um, RF sniffers are great. So I decided to leave it in and turn it into that. Um, I have tested it, and I'm putting in about 36 dB of power, and I'm getting about, uh, I'm putting in plus 36 dB of power, 4.5 watts, and I'm getting out the other side minus 16 dBm. So it's a great attenuator, um, and uh, it's not calibrated, but it's, 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 uh, it's exactly what I need for spectrum analyzer use. Now, I found this little heat sink. And it's almost perfect size to mount on the on the bottom of this. So I think I'm going to mount this on just so I have some more uh, more wattage capability. I was transmitting four and a half watts into here, and it was starting to get warm. Um, so uh, for short periods of time, it'll be fine. But it'd be nice to have this. Uh, I'm not using this heat sink for anything, so might as well mount it on here and increase the increase the wattage of this little tiny W load. So that's cool. I like that. Um, okay, let me uh, let me bring the camera in close. All right, uh, here it is close. Uh, you can see the uh, load resistor down there. It's on a tab, and there's just two uh, two screws. It's a solid solid back, like I said, about a quarter inch thick. And uh, I think you can see that little piece of wire. It just it just comes out and connects to nothing. It's just floating in the breeze, and that's our RF sniffer. So. It's picking up just enough for a spectrum analyzer. And the way that I've mounted this, um, let's see, let me get something to point. Mm, here we go. So the uh, RF uh, resistor has a little tab on it to be mounted onto um, mic microstrip or something like that. So. Uh, I have a little PC board here, um, so I'm just soldering it to the top copper, and then I'm soldering the connector to the top copper. So it's just kind of a mechanical strain relief really from the uh, from the resistor, and so that just goes here to the center conductor, and it's insulated from the from the bottom because of the uh, PC board material, and then here is my little RF connection uh, soldered here, goes directly to the resistor, so it uh, keeps the keeps the path short, and uh, uh, the only thing that's really Connecting these two as a press fit, and and there's mm, glue in there. There's some epoxy putting it in there, so it's not not a great connection. So this uh, so this is a, a good addition. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, wow, is that dark on the camera? Uh, I'm going to take this uh, 
this heat sink and put four holes in it and uh, I'll mount it on the bottom with some uh, thermal thermal grease and increase the wattage. So I uh, transfer punched the uh, holes in the little module to the heat sink and then I drilled four holes and here I'm uh, tapping 440 uh, threads and using a tapping block to keep everything straight. Now I'm going to be mounting together so I'm going to put some heat sink, heat sink grease on the uh, on the bottom of that slug that I made and that will uh, mount to the heat sink and hopefully increase the uh, wattage of this thing. So here it is all put together. Uh, another addition to my little uh, collection. I think I'll be building other things. I think I'll be building a, a mixer and uh, trying to think of maybe some other things to do.